Welcome to Train World TV. Wait a minute, wait a minute, that's all line. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm Ken Bianco Jr. and welcome to Train World TV. We have Ron Gibson here from LGB Trains, brand manager, my father Ken Sr. I can't forget about him, otherwise he'll he'll let me hear about it later on in the day. Thank God he let me in this one. <laughs> <laughs> but we have Ron Gibson here, and we're talking about G-scale trains. You could run them outdoors, indoors. They're big trains, big toys, mm -hmm. and great for everybody. So yes, sir. what do we have here today, Ron? Well, we've got a little sampling of, of some of our locomotives, of course, and our let me grab this here because mm -hmm. this one really looks good. The artwork is beautiful on this. Right. This is the trailer car for the Christmas trolley from last year. Uh, beautiful artwork. Price is right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, they're going very well. People really like it. That's great. Uh, so if anybody bought the trolley last year, the trolley set, this is the add-on to that no, trolley this set. This is the add-on. Okay. This yep. trolley comes with track transformer ready to run. And then you could get the uh, add-on trolley additional non-powered non-powered non -powered at a separate time looks great together great christmas gift something else i'd like to hit on uh is the olomana locomotive mm -hmm. uh this is a, a cousin to ward kimball's chloe and the lgb okay. fans know of the chloe so this is the cousin was uh reman rebuilt and remanufactured in the same backyard in california uh, this locomotive, you can actually see this locomotive in the museum in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, really? Wow. The only narrow gauge locomotive indoors there. And mm -hmm. It's a beauty when you see it and you can Very hold cute. the model and, and know that it's it's the exact replica. Sure, sure. A lot of detail. A lot of detail. Yeah. yeah. Then the next item is the Wolfgang Richter loco. Now this was introduced about a year and a half ago. Uh, the nice thing about it is, is they've done very well. People love it. Oh, People sure. have a lot of respect for Wolfgang. Yeah. And we'll have a trailing car to go with it next year. Ah, All right. very that's good. great. Very we yes. sold a ton of these, and these were limited edition. Yes, sir. Yeah. One time we, production. We may have a couple left, so make sure yeah. you grab them, and then you could add on to this, possibly with another add on car. That's huge news. Definitely. So that's great to hear. Definitely. It's in the works. Good, good, good. So. And the next piece uh, I'd like to really hit on is the Porter at the far end. All right, Porter Locomotive, you guys are familiar with the Porter. Uh, this one has DCC uh, in it, a DCC system. Uh, the MFX decoder, it, it sounds are really good, but you do need the DCC system to make it work. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and beautifully smokes. weathered, it's smoke. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the sound is phenomenal. And then you, you can run it analog. You also. can run it analog, okay. no problem. Yeah, yeah. Good. no problem. And you have a, a 10 car uh, set that also came yes, for a, it. Yes, mm -hmm. the Sugar King cars, right. there's 10 yeah. cars. They're all individually numbered yeah. and individually packaged. So oh, if nice. you want a car with a number seven on it, you can get the car with number seven. That's I great. noticed it's that's like a weathering to it. Yeah. Uh, that, they did a good job on that weathering. That Sometimes nice? the weathering does not look good, but this looks very authentic, very good. I, I think uh, some companies charge a fortune for it, but this is all included in the package. Are you sure you didn't run this yourself? <laughs> <laughs> my, my trains are Ron's cleaner. Ron's new job. He gets a little spray thing. He goes <laughs> Ron, Ron gets to run all the trains to weather them. <laughs> uh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, then the next piece is the newest piece from LGB. And this is our first new American style tooling, American prototype oh, wow. tooling, okay. since 2004. Wow. wow. So uh, this is what's called a speeder gang car. Hmm. Uh, they were made by Fairmont and delivered to the White Pass and Yukon without sides on them. Right. Because the weather and everything up there, they built the sides on them. Huh. And the toolbox, mm -hmm. that's a toolbox on the back. This, this, local, this motor car. Uh, runs really well. It's very wow. heavy, very good detail, interior detail. Uh, the headlights, you got when it's going forward, you got two headlights mm -hmm. pointing forward with white, and the right rear goes to red. Mm -hmm. oh, Change wow. direction, okay. and it does the cool. same thing. Mm -hmm. oh, so, cool. anyway, whenever you're going forward, you got two lights white to the front oh, and one red be to the cool rear. to see the, the headlights coming up. Very yep. cool. And then we also have three LEDs inside which gives a nice glow to the inside of the, the mm. uh, speeder when it's going down the track right. and as Kenny hasn't mentioned this thing's pretty heavy yeah it'll <laughs> pull a lot of cars it, it is it's, a, it's a definitely a good paperweight and I uh, see so you said white pass and Yukon on this one and uh, I didn't realize but there's also another one uh, yes one the, more the green and yellow here. version is, is following it'll probably be here probably in December okay, okay. and uh, the green and yellow was the superintendent's car 
Oh, wow. And so it doesn't have a toolbox on it. Right, right. Uh, but the superintendent, that was his car, and not many other people operated it. Really? And then uh, we also will have a yellow version that's wow. undecorated with stickers for any railroad you want yeah. to make. Okay, that's great. And that's to come. That is to come. It's right. announced and okay. it's coming. Oh, wow. Yeah. What, what yeah. I see with this also, using it the way it is, but also creating your own whimsical type of stuff because it's a small uh, little motor block and you can build on top of it and do other things with it, but uh, Begs either to be way. Kit bashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the right word. Kit Begs. Begs. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a perfect contender for that. Mm -hmm. And it does come with Lincoln pin couplers, so that oh, it yeah. shortens it down, but you know, mm -hmm. with LGB, you gotta have the traditional yeah. hook and yeah, loops. Yeah. Okay, Not but very well, nice. One thing we haven't touched on is the durability of LGB trains. Now, in our window display, <laughs> we have the LGB trolley. Um, the, sh the street car, and it, we run it what, yeah. nine, ten hours every single every day, day, all day long, all day yeah. long, and we haven't taken it out of the window yeah. once. Yeah. You know, we it runs back and forth, yeah, no we, problems. You got to be honest, though. We did have other manufacturers' trolleys in there because they were a little cheaper. Since we're just going to leave it in the window, they don't last. Yeah, I still they don't yeah. last. <laughs> <laughs> so, Good. so if you're looking at a, a, a price difference. There is a quality to LGB trains. Yep, you know, when, when you think of LGB, you're thinking top of the line, you know, you get what you pay for. You know, you may spend a little extra, but it's worth it because it's gonna last you a lifetime. I mean, these trains, we have people coming in with uh, some older trains and they, you know, it, it still runs like, like brand new. Nothing brand wrong new. with 20 year old LGB. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I'll put us cost per operating hour against anybody, any train manufacturer out there. Yeah. 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 LGB does have one competitor. Sorry. Ron. It's their own product. <laughs> <laughs> it just 20 years ago, the stuff still runs. It's right. still good. It's, yeah. it's, I'm it's, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It just doesn't die. Yeah, just, and, they, and they are repairable, which is the main thing. You, yes. know, you can still find yeah. some parts for some items. It depends on the electronics part, but the motor part of it, it's always... Uh, wearables are available. Yeah. All yeah. wearables but are available. But this is a new mold. So this, is, this is new tooling. New it's tooling. a standard motor okay. block from us. Gotcha. So, so it, you know... Paint scheme, white, white pass, Newcon, you know, collect them. There's going to be, what, three already? So yeah. it, that's great. And every railroad, uh, real railroad has several of the, the track inspection cars, yep. and uh, yep. and it's just a perfect add-on. Right, right. A lot of them will sit, fit on your sidings. Yep. Yep. I like the little stuff. I know you guys make big stuff, too. You just came out with this uh, Mikado, New York Central. Yeah. And actually, it comes with different road names on it. You mm -hmm. can change it to different road names on the uh, Mikado. The engine is big it's massive it's it's cool it's uh something you can just use as a display on your fireplace it's just that type of a piece and uh we waited quite a few years for that to come out three yeah. years <laughs> three years delay and i'll tell you they're a pull and fool they're very <laughs> no. good very good locomotive yep. the sound yep. is wonderful yep. and uh, i guess one thing we gotta touch up on is christmas i mean christmas is coming around the corner and lgb is known for their christmas bar I mean, every year we go through hundreds of them. Um, people come in every year, they collect them. And what's so great about the, the Christmas train is if someone just starts off with the LGB Christmas train set, you know, which is the most popular G-scale train set out there, you know, the, people go crazy because the size, the kids get to touch, feel it, and not feel like they're breaking it, but it's just yep. a beautiful engine and will last you years. And you, you can add on these cars with it. So you keep on collecting every year. They get it as a, a gift, a, um, you know, a, a traditional gift. Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, make, make sure you, you get this year's edition. I believe we still have a couple of last year's le left, but those won't last long. So, um, yeah. and, and also, they do have a date on it for 2016. If this is a special holiday, a special year, you had a newborn, an anniversary, it's a great addition to your uh, train set that gives you a special date to it. And the, uh, I just saw Ron take that car off the layout there. When I take the car off, I pull everything off with it. I don't know how he did that so yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this a couple oh, weeks. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't do that. I yeah. couldn't do that. I'm all fumbles. One of the things I'd like to share about our Christmas train, in 1990, 91, when we brought out the Christmas train, the retail yep. price on them was $399. Mm -hmm. 
The suggested retail price right now is $389 on this year's set. Thank you, Ryan. Okay. How Very many good. years? Very and yeah. What else is yeah, going yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. You know, what yeah. else were you selling yeah. 25 yeah. years yeah. ago? So. Yeah. This and, is, and yet, and the quality is the same or yes, better, sir. and more like, technology is there. The smoke, the light, the it's just quiet too. You run that around the layout, uh, around the Christmas tree, it's just quiet. It's it's not a noisy thing. It's just it's just beautiful, serene, and nice. Mm -hmm. And another thing I want to share is that all of our production for LGB is done in our factory in Gior, Hungary. Oh, wow. That's where Audi makes their motors. <laughs> it's in Hungary, right near our factory. Or our factory in uh, Gopingen, Germany, near Stuttgart. Oh, wow. Um, so that's okay. the only two places our trains are made now, and uh, so people are confident with European made trains. Yep. Right, yep. right. Yep. Yep. Well, that... And these aren't Chinese parts being assembled there, these are our parts molded. And assembled there. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Switzerland this year and I couldn't believe that all these towns had so many hobby sh train shops, not even hobby shops, they were train stores, uh, two or three in every town. It's such a way of life over in Europe. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great family hobby, it's a great uh, hobby for guys who want to collect or just uh, operate or display. It's, uh, it's or really run them outside. Yep. Uh -huh. I, yeah, the big thing is the indoor outdoor part of it for yeah. sure and uh, and it's 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 designed to handle the weather, all yes. types of weather. Indoors, outdoors, yeah. any kind of weather, snow, rain, sleet. Mm -hmm. The only thing you need to do is make sure the top of the rail is clean and mm -hmm. the trains will run. Wow, wow. that's great. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Oh. Okay. Right. And again, you could find all your LGB products at trainworld.com, shop online, 24 7 if there's any complaints just give ron a call directly there you go. we'll we'll let you know his uh, cell phone number just kidding <laughs> ron at merklin.com <laughs> and ron i can't thank you enough for coming here today it's been a pleasure i think he flew in from germany who knows <laughs> <laughs> no i flew in from from the west thank you <laughs> and, and just in case you're wondering where you can get all this shop at trainworld.com 24 7 we got all your lgb trains in stock right now ready to go thank you very much thank you guys.